Today we're making a Quilt As You Go 4th of July quilt. It's a fast, fun project. So we're gonna make an American flag and a mini version, and it's Quilting As You Go. So if you've never tried Quilting As You Go, this is super easy and super beginner, and what Quilting As You Go means is you're piecing and quilting at the same time. So for today's flag, you will need a third of a yard of the red for the stripe, a third of a yard of the white for the stripe, a fat quarter for your stars, a third yard for binding, and 5 8 yard for your backing, and you will also need batting. This flag finishes at 13 by 22, so you just need a piece that's slightly bigger than that. So today I'm gonna be using the Happy Cloud 36 inch square pack since that is easy. To start our quilt as you go, 4th of July mini, we're gonna prepare our backing and our batting. Our quilt finishes at 13 and a half by 22 and a half. So I'm gonna cut my piece a tiny bit bigger. We're gonna first cut 16 inches. It does not have to be exact, so I'm just gonna cut 16 inches. We can save this for another project. And then we're gonna cut the length or the width, whichever way you wanna consider it, 25 inches. So I'm just gonna use the lines on my mat. And this is gonna give us about two, two and a half inches extra around the edge. And we'll save this for another project. And on this side, I'm actually gonna cut the salvage off. This is the salvage where you can see, I just cut that off so I don't accidentally quilt over it and have that in my quilt. So this is my backing. It's around 16 by 25. And I will, of course, iron that in a little bit, but I'm gonna set it aside. And I've got this batting and I'm gonna cut that the same size also. So I will cut, just kind of flatten it out. And I'm just using the lines on my mat to cut. It does not have to be exact because we're cutting it bigger. And then on the batting that's left over, I will just set this aside and save it for another project. And I will open it up and cut the 25 now. So you've got your batting 16 by 25 and you have your backing 16 by 25. So that is your very first step. We're gonna cut our stripes. So for your white fabric, you're gonna cut three strips, one and a half inches by width of fabric. Once you have those cut, you're gonna subcut into three one and a half by 22 and a half inch rectangles and three one and a half by 12 and a half inch rectangles. For your red stripe, you're going to cut four strips, one and a half by width of fabric. Then you're gonna subcut four one and a half by 12 and a half inch rectangles and three one and a half by 22 and a half inch rectangles. And then from your blue stars, you're gonna cut one seven and a half by 10 and a half inch rectangle. And then after that, you can cut three strips for your binding. You can either do two inch, two and a quarter, or two and a half inch, however you prefer to do your binding. So now we can start assembling our flag. The first thing I'm going to do is take my backing fabric and get all of the creases out. I like to use steam. And I have already pre-starched and dried my fabric. So we have a video you can click right here that shows you how I like to use my starch. I like to take my time ironing. I actually love to iron. So I've got that. Still have a little bit of a wrinkle right here, so I will just go over it a little bit more. Now from there, this is the backing, so you want it to be right side down. Then put your batting on top.
and I am just using regular batting, not fusible. I think if you used fusible, it would complicate this project. So I would just use a regular cotton or just a regular 80-20. And there are a couple of wrinkles, so I'm just gonna iron those out just a little bit. It doesn't have to be perfect. And now we're gonna start assembling. We're gonna start building our quilt. And again, our backing is right side down. We've got batting on top. And I'm gonna show you the order that we're gonna build the quilt because from now on, we're gonna be on our sewing machine. So I'm visually showing you what we will be doing. I will give you detail on the sewing in a little bit. So we're gonna start about an inch from the top right and the top side. And we're gonna have four shorter red stripes and three shorter white stripes. So that will be what you do first. Let's put all these together. Once this is done, we will add our stars. And then once that's done, we will be adding the remainder long stripes at the bottom. And so this is just for reference, just so you can see how we will be building our flag. So now I'm gonna remove everything and I'm gonna show you the very first step and then we're gonna get our sewing machine out. So our first step is to leave our red stripe right side up on the edge of the back of the white stripe, I'm gonna draw a quarter inch line. And the reason why is most quarter inch foots have an edge on it that will interfere with your batting. And this will make your project go quicker. So I'm drawing a quarter inch line with a friction pin that will disappear with heat later. And I'm gonna place it right sides together and I am gonna put some pins in place and then we're gonna bring our sewing machine and we're gonna stitch directly on that line. When you're stitching with batting, you can either use a walking foot or a normal foot. It kind of depends what your machine can handle and you'll wanna stitch with like a 2.5 to 3.0 stitch length. So you can see that I'm just gonna use a regular open toe foot. You can put a walking foot on if you would like and I will just start, and I'm just gonna stitch directly on that line. Now we are going to iron. So then we're going to just go to our iron, press down. That's going to take away your line that you drew with a friction pin. I like to kind of finger press this open first, and then you're just going to iron this down. And it goes right in place. Super easy. And then we just need to keep adding. So I'm going to move the iron out of the way, and we've got the first two stripes. Now I'm gonna take the next stripe, which is red, and I've drawn a line a quarter inch away from the edge, and we're gonna do the same thing. And what I'm trying to do is keep this as straight as possible, because this can be trimmed off later. So I'm kind of starting my pin on the side closest to the star, and I'm gonna pin. Now you don't have to pin, it's totally optional. And then you can see, if you look on the back, you can see that we have stitched and you can see your stitching on the back. So when I'm stitching today, I'm using Artful Color 2000 because it blends in really nice. So we'll just go right to the sewing machine and we're just gonna stitch on that line and we're gonna keep doing this until we have all seven small stripes done.
So we will do the same thing. Okay. Iron, that sets your seam and it also removes the ink. Finger press. And you can just put the edge of your iron right on that stripe. And as you're going, you'll want to look at the back just to make sure everything is staying in place and that you don't have any wrinkles, you know, like you don't have your backing moving around. So just check after each seam. So now we're gonna add a white. And again, pin and stitch. This is great for beginners. So now we have my stripes done and you can see that I am such a good sewer that I sewed Cricut. That's okay. So we've got our stripe that's going to go right here and we've drawn a line on the quarter inch side. So what I will do is keep that flat and just lie this down and I'm just going to line up the bottom edge of this fabric here. And then I'm just gonna have a little bit over here and nobody will ever see it. And that's the beauty of Cool Tissue Go. You can just wing it as you go. And no one will ever know. And I'm just using that line on the bottom of this stripe to stay straight. So again, I'm going to press down, push this to one side, and then from here, I'm going to just turn it over, make sure it's nice and flat, and then since this is a bigger piece, it could flop around. So I am going to pin, and this you'll just have to be careful with because you'll have pins poking out, and you just want to try not to poke yourself. So I'm gonna make sure that this is just nice and straight on the bottom. And just kind of keep a pin, that way it doesn't flop around and the back doesn't get ugly. And so from here, we'll start building our long stripes. To add the stripes to the bottom, I'm gonna do the same thing. Pin in place and just add all of your remaining stripes.
so now that we are all done, that was super quick, super easy. I'm gonna take the pins out of this corner, turn it around and look, and I don't have anything bunched up, so I got lucky this time. Sometimes on the back, something will bunch up. And you can see that my sewing waves and it's not perfect, and that is why we're gonna square this up. When you're working with batting, that is going to happen. So I'm just gonna take a Creative Grids ruler, find the skinniest edge, so this is the shortest. I'm gonna put a line on the stripes to make sure we're going the right direction and that everything is gonna be straight and cut. And then I will turn the quilt and we're gonna do the remaining sides. So here what I will do is line up the top and then just the edge and this is just gonna be cutting right on that red stripe. And then we'll rotate. And you can see some of the, some of the batting is poking through and that's fine. So on this one, we're gonna line up with the edge of here. And you can see, I probably could have done a better job laying it out, but everything kind of shuffles when you do this and it will probably happen to you at home too. And that's what's great about Quilt As You Go, it's very forgiving. And on the last cut, I will do the same thing, line up with my Creative Grids ruler. And that is your Quilt As You Go table runner. Now, from this, you're gonna wanna add binding. Binding is this very edge, and we have a playlist of different ways that you can do binding. This one was done with two and a half inch strips, so check out our playlist to learn how to bind it. And also the quilt behind me is called William's Honor. We made it in recognition of Quilts of Valor. If you're not familiar with Quilts of Valor, it's a nonprofit organization that pairs quilters, um, donating quilts to people who have served our country. So if you wanna check that out, this is a completely free pattern on our website. We would love for you to subscribe to our channel for more videos just like this.